Hello my delicious lights, it's Lena here. So today I wanted to give you guys some validation and pretty much some, I guess, relationship advice. So, oh, I wanted to speak to you about how yeah, hard it is to kind of identify the truth of a relationship, especially when you're blinded by your heart. Sometimes we let our hearts lead us in a way where we feel like that's what we want, that's what we need because we feel alone. Everyone feels alone and everyone wants love in this world, right? But it seems like no one wants to search for it in themselves first. And it seems like when no one does, they end up breaking their own heart because they fell for a person that showed them that you still needed to heal. You weren't ready. When a relationship doesn't work, it usually shows you that you're not ready for anyone. So, I wanted to show you some ways and talk to you about some ways you can really identify that a relationship's not for you. Like, if you're in a relationship right now and you feel like you're neglected or you feel like you're not seen or you feel like, feel like you're not heard or you feel like this person is just shady in any sort of way or form where they don't let you look at their phone or they're not really as interested in you as you are in them and those are things that you'll completely like shut off you know what i mean you cut that off you won't you only see the good in them you only look at the good and i think it's i think it's really sad how um humans can be so stupid in that but in a way it's it's beautiful because we feel like we, we just want love, we just want to be loved. I wanted to talk about, I've got my tarot cards here, but I, I wanted to talk about it through like my cards and how I feel like maybe the cards could, I guess, show you. So through, through a relationship, it'll make you question yourself. There's a dragonfly. There is your sign, guys. Search up the meaning of a dragonfly as if there's a dragonfly around me. I completely forgot what they mean, but they're such beautiful insects. Hopefully it comes in the shop. I don't think so. So in a relationship, it'll make you question yourself. It'll make you give up things you thought you loved and you thought were for you. A relationship can either make or break you. Do you know what I mean? And through a relationship, you can choose to do things for this person and you can choose to be like this person. You can choose to be someone else because you want love, because you want to fall in love. Like when I relate it back to my past relationship, I was never really myself. I was never really honest with this person and I was never really honest with myself. And that's only something that I've just discovered um, in my current reality where it's like, now I'm honest with myself and I'm honest with people. And I don't feel like I need to hide myself. Whereas in my relationship, I just felt like I could never truly be myself. And you should never feel like that in a relationship. You should always feel like you can be yourself and you shouldn't have to decide and change yourself and be like someone else to fit this person's, you know, um, likes and dislikes of what their relationship could be like. And, I guess as like someone who's, I don't want to say quite spiritual, but someone who just understands people on a deep level, it's easy for myself to fall into a trap of, oh my God, I could be this person's dream. I could be this person's dream. I could fix them. You shouldn't have to fix anyone. This is where you question yourself. This is where you question yourself when you're trying to fix someone because you're like, I can change. I can change the way they act, I can change how they treat people, I can change how they see things, I can change their whole mindset, I can, I can make them better. Why do you have to make someone better? Why do you have to rebuild someone? Because you know what you're doing? Can you see the shadow? You're completely forgetting yourself and you're looking at the potential of someone else when you could see the potential in yourself. It's that easy. Do you know what I mean? You shouldn't... I feel like there's there's so much unseen and stuff about relationships. It's like no one actually wants to see that that sometimes you have to 
be someone you're not in a relationship just so you can be happy. But in you forget about yourself through that. That was a seven of cups. So that, that card's pretty much about choices and stuff. The towel moment. These usually are like, this represents arguments and things not working out. Usually the universe will show you when things aren't working out, when things just aren't working. For example, I was meant to see my ex and I missed the flight. And I just kept feeling like it just wasn't for me anymore. It just wasn't working. So much had gone wrong. What was the point in fixing it? What was the point of fixing what was already broken? Do you know what I mean? What was the point in fixing that? I didn't see a point. And now I look back at that relationship and I see the tower moment was meant to bring me here. Everything was meant to collapse so that I could be the person that I want to be. So that I could find myself because heartbreak will make you into the person you are today. So through, through all this chaos of us arguing and speaking so rudely to each other, mentally talking down on each other, it just, it was healthy and then it just wasn't healthy and it just felt like everything was just on and off and we could never ever see eye to eye and because we could never see eye to eye and because we let our world outside of us get to us this continued to happen we couldn't do it i couldn't do it i gave up i was like there's too much that this shouldn't be so much chaos in a relationship it should be like peace and calmness it shouldn't be i feel i feel anxiety i feel anxious around this person I'm worried that I'm going to tread over something, I'm going to say something wrong, or I'm going to do something wrong and something's going to happen. Do you know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't feel like in a relationship, like, whatever you do is going to have, like, in my relationship, I always felt anxious. I always felt like I was always just, I don't even know how to explain it. I just always felt anxious. Like, I could never, ever trust him. And I was just like, I cannot trust you like and that's my own trust issues but i also felt like I, I just couldn't trust someone who hadn't healed i couldn't trust someone who hadn't worked on themselves enough i couldn't trust someone who wasn't alone enough and if you feel anxious and if you feel like man like just something just feels off it doesn't feel right sometimes you just gotta let it go and just let the chaos let everything fall apart allow it accept it don't try to rebuild the tower moment. Can you see all this chaos? How are you? You can't change the weather. You can't change that the, br the bricks are falling from the house. You can't change that in the moment. You can't change the storm. You just accept it, move on and rebuild. The world card. Sometimes you will go above and beyond to make this person your world to make them a part of your world. And through that, you can completely lose yourself and forget who you are. Because you're like, who am I? Because I've given my all to this person. Who am I? Who am I? You've put this person on a pedestal. You've completely forgotten about you. What about your wants and needs? In a relationship, it's so easy for you to just put the other person first. You forget about yourself and then after it ends, how do you feel? How do you feel after that relationship ends or when you argue? You feel like you have nothing left. You feel like you've given them all your power, all your energy to move forward because you couldn't give that power to yourself because you felt like you needed to give that power away just to please someone else's world. Do you know what I mean, guys? Like, I look back at my relationship and I think, wow, like, we both tried to give each other everything, but in our own ways, but we just weren't the right people for each other. And it breaks my heart, it does. Like, you see, once you, once you break up and days go by and you're healing, you start to see that, yeah, maybe I was wrong. Maybe they were wrong. Maybe this relationship wasn't for me. I offered so much of myself. Like through this breakup, I found myself. I like, I like, I want, I like, 
I know how I want to dress. I know who I want to be. All my focus is to myself. No one else. Because I look at this card and you know what I see? I'm my own world now. I make myself a priority. And in a relationship, you should come first. You should always come first. You should be your own world first. Do not make someone else your, your world first. Do not jump in to your heart straight away. Things develop over time. It's, it's like find your self-love, your independence first. And you'll, you'll, you'll receive the world through yourself and through finding yourself and creating your own reality through manifesting it and being who you want to be. You just have to let go of that idolized idea you've put into your head about that person, about that situation, about that job, about your boss, about your mum, about your damn dad, about your brother and sister. Once you take off your rose tinted glasses, you see the truth and you see, wow, I've completely disguised all the bad as good kicked off the bad just to see the good and when you when you leave that relationship you you understand that it was all a lie and through this comes heartache what we all fear we all fear pain we all fear being hurt we all fear someone breaking our trust someone betraying us someone abandoning abandoning us we all have those fears, we're human. And as humans, we don't, we're, 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 we're afraid to experience something, to, to move forward with something, but pain is what creates us. Pain is what, pain is what can change us guys. Like, as, as hurt as this card looks, as you know, the three of swords, the three, the three swords in the chest, man, that's it, I've had it. I've had it. it hurts. It hurts too much. Excuse me. It's like through this, this is where you grow. This is where your heart gets bigger. This is where you see life differently. This is where your perspective grows because with that person, with that job, with that situation, that's kind of all you really felt. You know what I mean? You were kind of already going through it in that relationship or that job. You already knew what was up. You already knew you felt like it wasn't for you. You already felt like... You saw the truth of it before it even happened, but you chose to continue it because you didn't want to leave because you were afraid. What else is out there for me? What else is out there for me? But if you let go of that, that, that expectation and just, just be brave and take that leap of faith and kind of just face the pain and through facing the pain, you'll kind of see the truth of that situation and it's like your rose tinted glasses will come off. Because you'll be like, wow, this wasn't everything I thought it was. <sighs> Heartache hurts. It does. But it changes you. And you can see that throughout all of my videos, how going through pain has changed my perspective. How thinking for myself and making choices by myself, by what I feel is right, has changed my perspective all because I chose to go through heartache. All because I chose to be with that person and leave them because I felt like this isn't what I want. I'm, I don't even know who I am at 19 years old. Who am I? Who do I want to be? I'm only finding that out now. And through heartache, it can help you find yourself. It doesn't have to be looked at as you're going to be hurting and you're going to be in pain forever. That's fine. Just face it. Deal with it. Accept, accept the emotions and the thoughts that want to come through to you. But through heartache, it, it helps you rebuild yourself. It helps you rebuild your heart and how you see things. Heartache's completely changed my perspective and for that I'm grateful. And I'm grateful that I met that person, but I never want to see or hear from them again. Because I'm like, that's that. That chapter's gone. I'm walking a new chapter. I'll meet new people but I will completely focus on myself. Heartache can make you better or you can choose to just 
just flake at it. You can choose to just go and ignore your pain and go with other people and run from it. Or you can choose to heal your heartache and be like, I'm going to cut off every distraction, purely focus on myself and my own healing and my goals and my hobbies. Because before I met this person, I was fine. I was okay. I, was, I knew who I was at a point. But then I was with that person and it took how I felt away because I wanted to be someone else to please them. All right. Now I have the card of strength very 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 powerful card so this is like taming taming your inner strength taming taming that that side of that hurt that pain actually channeling it and being strong and being like i can do this i can tame my inner lion i can i can move forward despite how i'm feeling i can move forward do you know what i mean i can i can show up every day it's so it's so difficult showing up every day. It is. How do I how do I how do I find myself again? Who am I without this person? You question yourself. You doubt yourself. Did I make the right choice? But I miss them. I miss them so much. I don't have the strength to leave. You have the strength to leave any situation. Doesn't matter how long it is. Doesn't matter how many years it's been. Two years. Six months. Four years if, if, you, if something is not helping you grow and move you have to find the courage in yourself and usually the people around you will tell you and the universe will reflect back to you your relationships not working it is not for you this person isn't right for you because you're always complaining about how they do this and this and this but you choose to never have the courage and leave because you're afraid of feeling the pain you're afraid of what else is out there. But do you really think that's how you want to spend your life? Questioning yourself and your own mind as this person goes and does whatever they want. While you still can't even find yourself. While you feel lost in yourself. Because of maybe the intimacy between you two. Because of the affection. Because of the memories. Just because you have good memories. Don't forget the bad ones existed too. Don't forget the arguments. Don't forget what they said to you. Don't forget how they spoke to you. Don't forget that situation. Because after that's, after that's happened, that, that should be it. You shouldn't question your self-worth. You shouldn't question yourself. Because in your intuition and your gut, you know what's best for you. And it's really just about taming that and seeing it for what it is. And, and being free and, and choosing to, to face your pain so that you can grow because it doesn't matter how long that relationship has been you can still leave make a list of everything you feel is going wrong why it isn't working and leave because that is where your self journey to self discovery starts if you just left if you just got up and left if you said no more I don't want anything to do with this person I'm gonna leave I have to leave I have to find the strength in myself to leave and to, 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 to do better. Excuse my stutter. To do better. You'll never be happy lying to yourself. Because you you guys sit dinner with this person. You'll spend time with this person. But you'll always feel like there's just a deep part of yourself missing. Like, don't you miss being free? Don't you miss being on your own? Don't you miss having a social, don't you miss having a social life? But you miss being able to do what you want. You're completely glued to this person. You shouldn't, you shouldn't feel like the person owns you or you can't do this or you can't do that because you don't want to make them upset or you can't dress like this or you can't... A relationship shouldn't be like that. Leave whatever is confusing your mind and just find yourself first. Find the courage to leave journal find ways you can heal do not go to addictions and try to like leave and find ways like drinking and drugs to kind of cure that because that won't cure your pain do you know what that does that just numbs it that emotion is still there those memories are still there you actually need to sit there and face it face the good face the bad face the truth of that relationship whether you like it or not because it is what it is you wanted to be happy. 
You wanted to take that leap of faith. You wanted to take that risk, even though it meant you needed to feel pain. So do it. I'm just getting through mine, and I think it's it was it was on and off at the start, at the end, and through that I found the courage to leave. I found the courage to do this on my own. I did this all on my own. I found two jobs here on my own. I found my own place here on my own. I do everything on my own. I decided to train here on my own. And when you realize you can do things yourself and you're like, do you know what? I never needed that person. The only reason I needed them was for affection and what? To have someone there because I didn't feel complete because I felt like there was a missing piece. I needed someone to complete me. No, no, no. You do not need anyone to completely, completely, complete you. Say it with me, okay? Say it with me, this affirmation. I am whole I, and I am complete just as I am. I am whole and I am complete just as I am. I am whole and I am complete just as I am. How can you find completion in someone else when they're not complete and you're not complete? A relationship should be you finding yourself first, not, oh, but I'm, I want to find love. Like, especially when you're young, like go out and travel, experience life. Do not get caught up in a relationship and then things happen and there you go, you got a kid. There's your life over. Maybe it's what you wanted, maybe it's not what you wanted, but it's like, now you got a, now you got another mouth to feed. Now you got someone else to worry about. Go out and experience your life. Doesn't matter if you got to face the heartache, doesn't matter if you got to face the music, just do it. Leave that person, leave that job, leave that situation. Even if it means leaving your family because they're toxic and it's not healthy, go, go be free. You're gonna go through waves of emotions where you question yourself, but you know in your heart and your soul, you made the right choice. It's just about sitting with it and accepting it. And I will pull out one more card for you guys because I feel like it's really, it's really nice to really um, use cards because uh, I'd love to be a card reader one day, specifically on YouTube and in person, but that comes over time and for this I choose to find myself, I choose to not give up. Okay, we have um, the Six of Cups, this card, can you see this card? Reconnecting with your inner child. What happened to you when you were a kid, man? What did you lose from when you were a child? What happened to you? Why do you act the way you do in relationship? Why are you the way you are? Why, are you, why do you feel scared? Why do you feel anxious? Why do you feel like you run from love? Why do you feel like you run from people? Why do you feel like you can't trust anyone? This is your time as you lead this person to heal, to work with your inner child, reconnect with your inner child. Because you gotta remember when you, when you were a kid, you, you saw the future, you saw the world so bright. You had no fear, no worry in the world. You were just free doing what you want it doesn't matter if you walked in the mud barefoot you, you, you didn't care you were a kid be find that find that inner child but reconnect with that inner child do you know what i mean reconnect with yourself work through your your, your trauma your inner child trauma and you can find heaps of videos on youtube through meditation and hypnosis inner child um healings and inner child hypnosis and inner child, inner child meditations and you can find heaps of stuff where you can reconnect with yourself and heal through that and through your healing you attract the right person you attract the right people and your whole reality will change but for that for your whole reality to change you got to fix the inside you got to reconnect with yourself first don't be beating yourself up don't be wanting to be harsh and hurt yourself because you got to think you were once a kid and you got to think back to when you were a kid. Would you, if you were a kid, would you, would you look at, if, you're, if your younger self was standing next to you right now, would you want to be, would you want, would they want to see you be harsh to you? They wouldn't, what I'm trying to say is, would your younger self want to see the future self of them sad and upset? They'd want to see you happy. They'd want to see you heal and move on and give you a big hug and say, I love you. You know what I mean? I know you're hurting, but you need to work through these issues so we can move forward and grow as a person because you can only grow as a person if you work through your inner child. Reconnect with your younger self. Don't disassociate 
your 18 year old self, your 16 year old self, your 14 year old self, your eight year old self, your four year old self, because from those years, that's when you saw life beautifully. That's when you wanted more. And through that, you can find that. You can find that. I can recommend heaps of things you can do. Search up on the internet, like go see an energy healer. I highly recommend energy healers. Energy healers, um, whatever place you're in, whatever country, whatever city, energy healers, Reiki healers, R-E-I-K-R, -E healers in whatever country you're in, energy healers, spiritual healers. There's people out there that wanna help you. There's people out there that can relate to your story. I'll give you guys an affirmation to carry out through the day. Um, I am open to whatever changes unfold and occur in my life. Through this, I choose to fight for my inner child and be strong for myself and be my own person instead of someone else. You guys, are such beautiful people there's a reason that you found my video and there's a reason that you came across me it's not just a coincidence nothing's a coincidence i just want to show you guys to change your reality you actually have to make physical changes and physical movements in six months i'll, I'll explain to you in six months i was working in trade i was with my ex i just met him but we both wanted freedom so we left and we went to queensland went on a road trip best road trip of my life but now I look at it and I'm like I never really enjoyed that because it felt like hell going through that because we had nothing but we did it it didn't work out but we did it despite how we felt um, we did it and then we decided that we'd come back to Adelaide because we had no money and we Adelaide is another state so we went there and then we went up to another state and we lost I lost he lost his car I lost my car I crashed my car his car broke down but look where I am now because I took that risk with him. Because I took that risk, guys. I'm here now. Look where I am. Because I chose myself, because I chose to move forward. No one knows my story. People just think I'm just this happy hippie. It's like, you don't know my story. You don't know how I feel on the inside. Like I struggle every day in my own freaking mind. My mind is drowning me every single day. I'm, I'm like finding it so hard to survive. But I still show up for myself. And I still continue to work on myself and train Muay Thai and show up to work and save because in a couple of months I'm going to Thailand. And that is, I'm, I'm excited. I, I'm, I'm young. Being young is a great age to travel, be single, enjoy yourself. Don't be locked down at a young age. Like, I mean, yeah, go for it. Go, go experience a relationship. But sometimes you're just in it to, to learn and you're just in it to pass time by so that, you know, but yeah. Anyways, that's kind of my video for you guys today. I guess it was kind of just based on relationship advice and working on yourself. Like there are so many ways you can work on yourself. Like um, exercise, I feel like, and eating healthy is so important. Drinking heaps of water. Find what you like. Sign up to a gym. Sign up to something. Sign up to a sport. Sign up to anything, man. There are people that are just like you and me, man. You know, it doesn't, I know you're hurting. I know you're hurting. I'm hurting too. But you got to get up. you got to move. Don't let life pass you by. Life is too short. Time is too short. Use it wisely so that you can be free and you can enjoy life even if it means some days are going to be really bad because you're going to have to sit there and cry and you're going to have to accept where you're at so that you can be where you are now. Three weeks ago, two weeks ago, I couldn't leave my bed. I was in bed for four days. I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink. That is the worst I've ever felt. I felt sick to my stomach. I felt sick in my chest. I felt sick to my head. Knowing that I had to let go of this person so that I could find myself. But knowing what lies ahead through that pain, look where I am now. And finally, I just saw a ladybug. Red ladybug fly by. Okay, there's your sign, guys. You got a ladybug to look up and um, a dragonfly. And then I'll give you the number 2525 angel me angel number. Search that up. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope it was of some help. Bye, my delicious slime.